You know, if you hold a Steppenwolf album up to your ear, you can almost hear Harley Davidson's roar. What a great morning to get out a bike, and uh, that's what folks are doing in Bristol this morning. News 8's Erin Cox, and she looks pretty tough on two wheels, is live with why this is called the Ride for Justice. Erin. Hey, good morning, Jeff. I should have brought my earplugs along because they are going to have nearly 2,000 motorcycles filling this parking lot later this morning. You know, this is the ride for justice. It was born out of frustration for Connecticut's judicial system after the horrible Cheshire home invasion crimes that claimed the lives of Jennifer Hawk Pettit and her two young daughters, Haley and Michaela. But they still run this fundraiser every year. And joining me to talk more about it is the organizer and chairman, Ron Cattucci. Talk uh, about the ride. You have folks that come back year after year. Yes, we do. Uh, we have folks come back every year, but I think this year we'll have even more because the weather is so nice. Uh, we usually have a, had a threat of rain throughout the week. This year, uh, the last 10 days, there's been no threat of rain. I think we're going to have a lot of people coming out to see us today. And, uh, you know, come and join us. Uh, registrations from 9 to 11. Uh, there's still plenty of time to get here. We've got Dunkin' Donuts here to keep warm you up. Before the sun comes out, and, uh, we're gonna, it's going to be a good day. Um, I know when the ride started, it was the horrible crime and the frustration. Now it's still it's a fundraiser for the Pettit Family Foundation. Talk about that. Well, it, it, it's a great foundation. They, they, they do a lot. You probably don't realize it, but, but somebody you know somewhere is probably affected or touched by one of their grants. They've, they've given out over a million dollars in grants since their inception. Uh, you know, all to you know, great causes, and most people, like I say, without even realizing it, know someone that's been affected by those grants. Um, it's just, it's a great organization, a great foundation, and um, it, it means a lot to me. And, and you do great work, Ron. Thanks a lot. Have a safe ride this morning with your nearly 2,000 riders. As you heard Ron say, hey, maybe you got your motorcycle in the garage. You don't know what to do today. Head up to Bristol. You can still register. The ride is 38 miles, and the foliage is starting to peak, and this is a beautiful scenic route. So if you got a motorcycle, why not? We're live in Bristol this morning. I'm Erin Cox, News 8.